Verse of the Day John chapter 6 verses 1 to 15 After these things Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is that of Tiberias, and a great multitude followed him, because they saw the miracles which he did on them that were diseased. Jesus therefore went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. Now the Pasch, the festival day of the Jews, was near at hand, when Jesus therefore had lifted up his eyes, and seen that a very great multitude cometh to him, he said to Philip, Whence shall we buy bread, that these may eat? And this he said to try him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, saith to him, There is a boy here that hath five barley loaves, and two fishes, but what are these among so many? Then Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. The men therefore sat down, in number about five thousand, and Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to them that were set down. In like manner also of the fishes, as much as they would. And when they were filled, he said to his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, lest they be lost, they gathered up therefore, and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above to them that had eaten. Now those men, when they had seen what a miracle Jesus had done, said, This is of a truth the prophet, that is to come into the world, Jesus therefore, when he knew that they would come to take him by force, and make him king, fled again into the mountain himself alone. Thoughts on today's verse Have you faced an impossible situation? Jesus did and showed he could overcome any obstacle. He is God and can do all things he wills, including in our lives. Jesus fed thousands with just five loaves and two fish, a humanly impossible feat, showing his commitment to feed us in every way. This miracle symbolizes his ability to nourish our souls with grace to face life's challenges. However, we often struggle to overcome challenges and to discern God's will from our own limited ideas. We might pray for what we think is right, but God's plan is always greater and perfect for us. We need to seek, surrender to, and have faith in his plan. Reflect on your future and worries. God has a perfect plan for every situation. Your role is to seek that plan and trust in its fulfillment. Prayer Lord, I know you can do all things and that you will the good in all things. Help me to turn and to surrender to your perfect divine will. As I surrender to it, help me to have perfect faith that you will bring your will to fruition. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen.